Good morning. God loves when we treat each other the right way. The Bible refers to this as justice. Justice is doing what is right and good. It is more than just being fair. It is looking at a person through God's eyes and a situation through God's eyes and doing God's right thing. So injustice is the opposite. It is when people are mistreated or when decisions are made that help some people but hurt others or something that puts others at a disadvantage. Throughout the Bible, God shows us through stories that there are certain people in this world who start at a disadvantage. That means that even as they are born, they are already experiencing injustice. They need people who will help them and act on their behalf. Sometimes we see others are at a disadvantage because they don't have enough food or a safe home. Sometimes we see that others are at a disadvantage because they are in a wheelchair or are blind or maybe hard of hearing. When we don't act on their behalf to make adjustments to the way that we build our communities, these people face injustice. Sometimes we see that others are experiencing injustice because of the color of their skin or their religion or who they love. One of my favorite Bible verses is this. It's from Micah chapter 6, verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. This verse reminds me that God requires, that means God needs us to seek justice. And that means to be on the hunt for ways that we can make things right. We love mercy when we act with compassion. And to walk humbly, well, that's an action. When we are humble, we put the needs of others above our own. And walking this way with God, then we can use our mercy to act justly, to make things right. You see, we might realize that there are people who are being mistreated or who are at a disadvantage, and we might even feel really bad about it. But that's not enough. God expects us to care for them and to take action on their behalf. But that can be hard, can't it? I've drawn this person on the dish. This person is us. And the thing that I want you to notice about this person is that this person isn't moving. And sometimes that's like us, not moving, feeling badly and sad, but not acting. Do you remember at First Contact when we have talked about Jesus telling the parable about the sheep and the goats? Jesus talked about the kingdom of heaven and how the sheep would be separated from the goats and the sheep were all of the people who helped the sick and fed the poor and visited the prisoners and clothed the needy. But the goats? The goats were separated and denied access from the kingdom. And to sum it all up, Jesus said that it was because every time we do something to help others, we help him. But whenever we ignore or mistreat others, it is like we are acting unjustly to God. And so this parable is the what can we do answer to the verse in Micah. Because to seek justice means that we actually have to do something. We have to take action. We have to move. When you see something that doesn't seem right or doesn't seem fair, maybe you'll wonder how that happened or why that happened. Maybe you'll wonder what could have been done differently. Maybe you'll wonder what you can do to help make it right. We can decide, like Micah instructs us, to walk humbly with God as we seek justice and love mercy. We can remember to be sheep and take actions to help those who are disadvantaged. You can speak up 
and say, hey, that's not fair. That's not true. That's not right. When something you notice requires justice. You can pray for a person who has been hurt and you can pray for the person who has hurt others or done something that isn't right. And maybe if you have done something that wasn't fair or wasn't right, you'll be brave enough to say, I'm sorry. And as you can see by now, by looking through God's eyes and by walking humbly with God, we can get ourselves unstuck. As God's children, we want to show God's love to everyone. When we seek justice, we can bring the kingdom of heaven down to earth and make the world a more just and equal place to live.